What up, though, y'all? This is All Hustle, No Cap. If you're new to the channel, this is where we talk about all kind of business, all kind of hustles, different tutorials on how you can increase your skills and make yourself work a little more. If you like content like that, do me a favor. Please smash the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on IG. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Please don't forget to run it up on the likes and the comments for your boy. Today's video is going to be a Photoshop tutorial on how to use the transform tool. The transform tool is one of the most important functions to understand in Photoshop. If you plan to do any kind of graphic design work, you will be using it a lot. So let's jump right into this tutorial. So what's good y'all? Today I'm going to be teaching y'all about how to use the transform tool inside Photoshop. It's really one of the most important tools inside Photoshop. So if you like keyboard shortcuts like me, if you're on a Mac, it's Command T on a PC. It's Control T, and if you did it right, you'll get this box with an X in it. That lets you know you're in free transform mode. Probably notice these little squares in the corner. These are actually control points from where you can control the size and kind of drag it. Hovering over the control points gives you a U-shaped cursor, and touching it gives you a straight cursor. If you got the U-shaped arrow, then it means you can rotate the picture, and if you got the straight arrow, it means that you can scale it. Scale it just basically means making it either bigger or smaller or adjusting the size in some kind of way. So if you want to rotate a picture, you would hover over it until you get the U-shaped arrows and then drag it either up or down so you can rotate it in the direction that you want to rotate it in. And then once you get it how you want it, you would just press enter or return to lock it into place. Now if you don't like how it turned or you feel like you messed it up, you could just press escape and it'll get it back to the original positioning. Now let's say you don't want to rotate it, you just want to resize the picture. All you got to do is put your mouse on one of the anchor points and you'll get that straight arrow and then drag it in to make it smaller and you would pull it back out to make it bigger. Now you can grab any of these anchor points, but I always prefer to grab it from the corners for some reason. Scaling like this will help you resize your picture and keep everything proportioned. It's great if you're trying to make a picture bigger or smaller, but keep it around the same proportion. But let's say you don't want to keep it proportioned and you need to stretch this picture out so it can work for whatever projects you're doing. All you need to do is grab the anchor point you want to stretch out and hold the shift button and drag it. And that's going to let you stretch it to any side that you want to stretch it to for your project. You can hold shift and individually drag any of the anchor points around the transform box. When you do this and you grab the corner anchors, it gives you full customization over the size and just changing the image. If you're new to this, I would suggest just playing around with all the different anchors and holding the shift key and not holding the shift key and just see what all the different combinations do so you can kind of learn what works best for what you're trying to do. You can also move your image around while it's in transform mode. But again, once you get it the way you want it to, just to get out of transform mode and locking your changes, press the enter button and it'll lock all your changes in. Now, if you don't like using shortcuts, you can also find the transform functions in the edit menu. Now, you'll see the free transform option right here. That's the one that I use the most, but there's also these other options. Some of them are repetitive because things like scale and rotate are things you can do in free transform anyway. But you can also do things like rotate your image either 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise or do a full 180 rotation. You can do all of this in free transform too, just by rotating it like I showed you earlier. But sometimes this might be a little more precise. Now, if you just want to like flip your image upside down, you can just come and click flip vertical and it'll flip that shit right upside down. And if you want to flip your image horizontally, click flip horizontally and it'll flip that shit horizontally. Now, I honestly don't use like the skew option too much, but I'm going to show you guys what it does just so you can get an idea so you know. And if you want to play with this later, you can, but it just really kind of skews the image and you can grab any of those anchor points the same way you do all the other transforms and just kind of skew it in the direction you want to. Now, if you go to Distort, Distort is the one you use if you want to give your image like that 3D effect. You see how you rotate it, it looks like it's coming from a distance or it's coming towards you. So if you want to get a 3D effect, I suggest playing with the Distort function. Now, if you use the Perspective function, when you grab the anchor points, you'll notice it kind of pinches two anchor points together depending on which way you drag the mouse. So it kind of pinches the image. So I'm sure there's some dope ass uses for this. But personally, I don't use that shit that much. So, you know, if you feel like you can use it in your design, go for it. But I don't use it that much. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different ways you can use the transform tool. Hopefully this video helps you figure out how you can apply it to what you do. Now, if y'all found this video helpful, please don't forget to smash the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on IG. Thank y'all for watching. As always, peace.